this might be a tough decision right now. My team did I'm not just absolutely um, and it felt games that were like, right. whoa. I actually don't have a lot of mixed feelings. Uh, welcome to Scrum Tone. Uh, we have another guest here on the League of the Wings. The League of the Wings. The League of the Wings. Ah uh, yes, another week has gone by, and uh, another week, we don't have any topic for this podcast, and it's Saturday night, or Saturday evening, and last minute thing again, I don't think I would learn my lesson, I should come up with a topic, but I have an update news at least, um, that's going to take like a minute of the thing, hopefully, not not hopefully, but I'm just trying to fill up, fill up time at this moment, but Alicia and I are bringing back kids with divorced parents. We took a month break. It was actually a two-week break, but we do it every other week, so it's like a month and since we last posted. But yeah, we are going to be uploading this Tuesday. We're going to be filming tomorrow, um, so look out for that. Yeah, I'm going to do a live research look where I'm going to be looking up podcast topics. And I'm going to be picking one and going from there. Unless if this podcast is just about podcast topics, topics, and that'll be pretty meta. But it won't be the case because I feel like you can't really talk about podcast topics for that long. I mean, coming up with an idea is hard. I guess it's just coming up with any idea. You can just place in any topic or any, any topic and try to come up with a topic and it'll just be the same. It doesn't necessarily have to be about podcast if that makes any sense at all but coming up with a new idea is tough no matter the idea that you're trying to come up for or whatever the idea is for but yeah i didn't wow my hair my hair is not i'm getting a haircut soon and so yeah i'm going to be scrolling now and scrolling i may be getting no nah, that that'll be a surprise for later but there is a surprise coming some big changes, big changes are coming. How to, I don't want to learn how to select topics. I just want, one. I just want, I just want a list. Learning a new skill, no. Events slash groups, not good. Book reviews, I don't read books. Sports, this, this channel is pretty, pretty uh, filled with sports. I feel like we've always talked about sports. I don't want to talk about sports. People who know nothing about sports. Just talking to Josh. Location-based, time-based, how-to, preparation, movie and TV review, all things cinema, POV, comedy, travel tips and recommendations, travel storytelling, travel interviews. Oh, because I could do a travel travel storytelling I mean I don't I I haven't really been anywhere I guess I can do like a synopsis of kind of where I've been and if a if a story comes up maybe I'll uh, I'll tell that story ever since I was little me and my family my extended family on my dad's side every other year we we my uncles and aunts my dad um, my grandpa a little while ago, but not so much because he can't really walk and he can't really move around and be on the beach that much. But every other year, me, me and my extended family on my dad's side, we go down to the Outer Banks and my uncles and my dad, they all split and the older cousins too. Um, Cause I, I, th I think I have like maybe 17, 18 or 19 cousins. I forget, I need to recount cause there is a new member of the, co of the Leonza clan and or I guess the cousin clan, because technically they don't, the co cousin that was born t technically doesn't have the um, last name, Leonza. But yeah, they all chip in every other year to get it like a beach house in the Outer Banks and basically for a week, there's about 30 people in one house and we basically just do beach things and we usually get beach front so we can just walk right onto the beach from our house. We usually get a pool it's usually like three stories, three or four stories, and sometimes it has an elevator. We haven't done it in a few years just because of COVID, and we aren't, we just want to be cautious and not spread it anymore. So we just didn't really go out and do anything due to COVID. And the other year, so it's like every other year, but the other year that we don't go to the Outer Banks, 
we usually try to come up with something um, that's just a smaller family. Just like me, my dad, my sister, and and maybe a couple of aunts, like maybe one of like my Uncle Tony or maybe the wine leader's side. We go on like a mini vacation where it's just like a few people or like two families. And we go to Maine. We've gone to Maine a lot, but I guess the past couple of years, I have a lot. I always document each trip. I always put it on private though, so there's a few on my channel and a few on Leon's or Productions. But I, the past couple of years, me, my dad, his fiance and her children all go, we go to various places like Maine. Last year we went to New Jersey, Cape May. So we've just been kind of hopping everywhere since COVID, but we kind of go to random places the other year when we don't go to Outer Banks. And then the one year it was me, my sister and my dad, we went to an out west trip in which we went out west. So we live in at the time, we lived in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So we traveled from Lancaster, PA, all the way to the Four Corners by car. So we went from Lancaster to the Four Corners. Not in one go, because we wanted to explore the out west or just visit national parks and just touristy things and just experience as much as we could. But we went from Lancaster to St. Louis. That was a 13 hour drive. And then St. Louis to the Rocky Mountains. Has another 13 hour drive or 12 to 13 hour drive so we were in the car for 24 26 hours about just just in the car there's the three of us let's just say we got a little bit annoyed of each other but so we got a hotel in st louis and then we camped in the rocky mountains two nights i believe and then i forget where we went there but i'm going to link the youtube video because that video i did from public or i did anyone can see it so I'm going to put the link in that um, down in the description below if you guys want to see that journey. But I documented the whole thing and that I did make that public. And it's about a 45 minute video, but it's well, well worth the 45 minutes because that 45 minutes is over a two week span. And I go day by day and kind of how many hours we drove each day and kind of where we were at. Like we stopped by Utah. I think we went to Zion mountains i don't i don't know any of the national parks which is a shame i'm trying to remember i forget the names of them i forget any national park um we didn't we didn't go what's the famous one maybe we did i forget i don't know but yeah we the furthest we went was the four corners i mean we we i guess we could have went to california but we didn't want to because if we drove all the way to california we would have to drive 42 hours back and we were already we already had to drive like 30, 35 hours back from the four corners. We did we just didn't want to drive the extra ride because my dad was the only one driving because my sister it my dad just doesn't like how my sister drives because she's on her phone. She's she just doesn't pay attention that much. Not my sister's a great not to say that my sister isn't a great uh driver, but my dad just doesn't like her driving. So he drove all the way and I, at that time I had my permit and some states are weird about other states permits and stuff like I we wanted to just my dad wanted to um teach me how to drive or one of the le not lessons but he wanted me to drive in Kansas well he didn't really want to but I was asking if I could drive in Kansas because like it Kansas is flat as hell so basically it's just like a flat highway and he I almost convinced him, but he he just didn't want to because in case I got pulled over or, God forbid, I crashed on my permit. It's it's in a different state than Pennsylvania, so there's different laws for how states go about um, new drivers and not, official, not having an official license, so he just didn't want to risk it. So yeah, he drove probably, I, I would not be surprised if he was reaching the 100 hour mark, 100 hour mark. 80 to 100 hours, I would probably put the range at that he drove in two weeks, 6,000 miles, which is absolutely absurd. Um, but we had a lot of fun. It was, there's this one moment where we were in the Rocky Mountains and there's not a lot of bears in the Rocky Mountains. There, There is, but due to how big it is, it's unlikely that you'd see one, but I guess it's more likely in other, in other areas or more common to see a bear in the Rocky Mountains um, than 
PA Woods. There was just a bunch of like bear ta attacks like a couple weeks prior and recently like a couple days before we got to ro the Rocky Mountains and so my sister, my dad and I were a little paranoid but my sister was like the most scared of like a bear attack and me and my dad that we used to scare her or we scared her at one moment in time when we were, we were, it was me and my dad in a tent and then my sister in a tent so she had a tent all to herself. So it's just her in that tent. So me and my dad would like make noises tr to try to scare her. And she got really mad because she actually thought it was a, not actually, but she just, it heightened her tensity about it or heightened her tension. So she got pissed off obviously, which was actually really funny. But then like five, 10 minutes later, we heard like noises, like actual noises. And then we saw like a flashlight like a little ways down the trail. I don't know how far it was, but it was close enough where we could see. So we thought that was like a state trooper or like a state park trooper or whatever they're called. State trooper or like a park ranger, I guess. Either or. We were kind of getting scared too because it could have been just like a random person as well because like Rocky Mountains is a dense forest and it's massive. And even though we were on a public trail, we kind of, I think, I forget how long we walked, but it was at least like three to four miles like out of the, like where we're, where our cars were. It was at least three or four miles away, I think. And so we were like, this could just be like anyone. It could be like a serial killer, like hiding a dead body. And we were making like all these like situations and stuff. But it was just like a normal hiker. It was just like a hiker group. I don't know why they were hiking in the pitch black because like you could barely see anything, but they had like the headlamps on. And they were just trying to find a campground. But it's kind of weird too, because we had to keep our food oh, like a hundred yards away too, in case like bears came. And we just didn't want any bears around, obviously. So we had to like put in this container and we technically were supposed to bury it under the ground, but I think we just put it in a backpack and just placed it. I, don't, I forgot if we buried it or not, but it was a bear proof like container with all of our food and we like cooked our food. We had this little propane fueler, fueler thing where you, you can like, it's like the classic camping thing where you just like can cook stuff on it. So we had that and just cooked random food or like cooking food and stuff. But the annoying thing was, and the weird thing was, is that the toilet was like also like 100, 150 yards away. It was just like on a trail and it was like out in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's all surrounding dense. There's only one trail leading to it, no other trail. And it was, there was nothing covering it. Like there was nothing covering, there was no shack or anything. It was just a toilet out in the open. Like there was nothing, like there's no privacy. You couldn't lock a door. There's no door in general. There's no walls. So it's just you and the woods. So any like, Random person could just like walk up and just, just fucking see you taking a shit in the middle of the woods. It was the most weirdest thing. Like, why wouldn't you just like build like a little, little shack at least to like lock? Cause like there, I don't, it's, it's far away enough where there's not a lot of traffic. There's, I think we only saw that one person at that one night during the nighttime. We went, like that person that we got scared of, like that was the only person that we saw in a two night span. It was like, half a day, full full day, and then another half a day. So I guess two days we were there. But we, yeah, we didn't see anyone else. It was, it was like a pretty private, but like still like any, it was a private like trail. So like anyone could like come walking at any time, like in any direction. It was just weird. Um, and I only had to poop once, which was good. And luckily I'm a man too. Privilege of being a man where we can just pee behind a tree um, in which most often times I did rather than going off to the trail because I didn't want to walk in the middle of the night that far to the toilet and then get kidnapped or eaten by a bear. It was more safe if I just went a couple feet in. A few yards, I mean, not a couple feet and pee behind a tree. But I guess that was our little adventure in the Rocky Mountains. I'm trying to remember any other places. Oh, I've been to Surrey, Maine, which was really nice. I went with the wine leaders, they were in some of the reaction videos way back in when I was in high school. So they were in the soup. That was their house that we were reacting to in the Super Bowl at that time. 
when we were acting to the Eagles Super Bowl, we were in their house. That's like the wine lighters that I'm talking about. We went with them. It was me, my dad, and then their family. It was a f- they have a family of five, so it was just us. And we were we bought like a cabin, not bought, but we rented out like a cabin for I th- I believe a week, and it was like lakeside, and and so we went, and it was freezing. We didn't go in too much, but we had a kayak. We did a little kayaking, um, and we just did main stuff. We had lobster. We relaxed outside, we traveled around the place, we just like looked around the place, we went to Acadia, the national park, and hiked there, which was really nice. And I also have a vlog which is public on Leonza Productions, you know what, I'm just going to link Leonza Productions as a whole, so you can go there. There's not a lot of videos on there, there's like 10 maybe, and half of them are school projects, kind of spam that I uploaded just for memory's sake. Been to Surrey, Maine, been to Cape May. There's another part of Maine that I've been to, but I forgot the name of it. I'm trying to remember other places that I've been, but me and my, a long time ago, we went to the Trussic Peak Bay for a couple of days. I think that was my dad, me, a couple of my aunts, and I think, no, just a couple of my aunts. Went to Trussic Peak Bay for like a couple of nights. That was a lot of fun, but really the most, when I do go on vacation or when my family does go on vacation, it's usually, it's usually to beaches or like lakes where we just um, are there for a week. And then, oh, I guess the past like year, year and a half, my roommates and I have been traveling a decent amount. Not as much as we would like, but we went, for example, we went to Cairo, Egypt. The vlog is on this channel ways back. And then we just went, came back from Michigan where Titus, Titus, the reason why we were able to travel because Titus, lived in Cairo, Egypt, and then he lived in uh, Michigan. Or I guess he is currently living in Michigan, or that's where his family lives. He's currently living in Philadelphia, but yeah, so we were able to travel to those locations, and we just came back like two or three weeks ago. That was a lot of fun. We're going to be uploading a vlog soonish. I don't know when. I have four, three or four vlogs that I'm going to be posting soon. I just have to get them edited and completed. And then I'm going to upload upload them soon. So be a watch out for that. That's I'm uploading a Bronx vlog, a tattoo, this tattoo vlog, and an Eagles update, the Michigan vlog. So four four total videos coming our way, plus the podcast, plus kids with the forest parents. So this this YouTube channel is vamping up. But I'm not going to say too much on the Michigan vacation because you're just going to have to take a look for yourself. I guess you already know because a couple podcasts ago, we I did do a podcast. We did a, do a podcast in Michigan, and that was kind of like the environment. It, that was kind of just, uh, I just wanted to film a couple places, just have like the raw, raw, what we were doing in that moment. Like we were on the dock, and then we were playing pickleball the next day, and I just wanted that raw moment in time of just, us interacting with the world without having to put on a display. And I think the most exciting area that I've been to was probably Cairo, Egypt, obviously, but then probably out west next when we did that out west trip. And then, I don't know, I really like Maine. Michigan was definitely different. I like Michigan just because I never been there before. And I want to say Maine as well because I've only been there twice and I really like Maine. I really like Michigan, so I'll probably put those four in my top four, and then I guess Outer Banks in my top five. So that's like my top five kind of places that I've been to, and then I've been to like Wildwood, um, what's that popular one in um, Maryland? I forget. I forget what that one is, but the really, everyone goes, it's one of the most popular beaches in the U.S. at least. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it is. It's Ocean, maybe? Ocean something. I don't know if Ocean's the name. But yeah, I've been to like Cape May. I've been to Wildwood. I've been to that entire strip. And so I don't really have any... I have a lot of good memories in New Jersey. But I would have to say that every... The other five that I listed before are over that. And I feel like New Jersey is just one of those places too. Like I, I had a blast in Cape May. Cape May, New Jersey. That was a lot of fun because like we were able to 
that was basically the strip and we were able to go up to Wildwood. We were able to go up to like the different shores on New Jersey. So I like that experience. But it's just one of those things where it's like, it's only like an hour and a half, two hour drive from Philly. So it's not too far away. And it's basically, you can do that on a day trip, day trip or some, some stuff. And yeah, so I think Titus, Josh and I may take a trip and the roommates, the young boys may take a trip to Canada to see Brendan, um, Josh, Josh is going, Josh and Trey are going to, and Isaac, if you remember Isaac, he was in a couple of vlogs and a couple of reactions, not too much, he hasn't been on the YouTube channel in a while, a while, but um, they're going to 4th of July weekend to Trey's cabin to, I've posted a vlog two years ago when I went up to Trey's cabin last time. Um, that was a lot of fun. But I'm I'm unable to make that due to work. I got scheduled for work and I was unable to get out of it, sadly. So I won't be going there. But we are trying to see Brendan because Brendan is doing an internship in Canada right now. And we want to see him in Canada and we're going to like crash at his place. So we're trying to plan out a good time where we can go up and see him. Yeah, so that that's kind of what's happening lately within within the realm of my traveling adventures. I'm trying to think of other stories too. I mean, with Cairo, Egypt, I could tell like some stories, but I feel like we already covered it a shit ton from the interview that we had on Kids with Divorced Parents with Titus when we interviewed Titus about it, Titus, or about um, Egypt, I guess that was just his experience living in Egypt. That wasn't really our experience traveling to Egypt. Um, but just like on the podcast here and there, we would say stuff. I think we, we said most of what our experiences have been, whether I've been talking with Trey on the podcast or Josh or Titus, I think we just randomly started talking about it. We had to start talking about Cairo here and there. So you've, you've had a lot of, I think... I've told all the stories on this podcast, and I think I did do a Egypt podcast right after we got back from Egypt, kind of explaining our experience, and I did an hour and 22 minute vlog, an hour and 22 minute vlog, that's the longest vlog I've created, oh, I guess, there was the cleaning video that was 2 hours and 11 minutes, but that wasn't really a vlog, that was, it, I labeled it as a vlog, because I didn't really know what to label it as, but I guess that's the longest one, but it, there's an hour and 22 minute Egypt vlog. So that basically covered everything that we did and all the stories that we kind of, or the highlights, I guess, um, like going on the Nile, seeing the pyramids, seeing the tombs, experiencing that. Um, and yeah, so this is going to be a really short one. I'm going to end it here, 24. It's not the, hey, I don't think this is the shortest podcast, which is good. I've been trying to keep them under 30 minutes for the last like couple months just because, or around 30 minutes just because it's easier to edit and I haven't really had much time because between Chickies and Pizza and my new in internship at Soundsite Productions, I haven't had much time to actually film a full length podcast as I would like. And yeah, all the, my other roommates are busy as well. So yeah, I just haven't had time to actually sit down and do a full length podcast like I used to like over an hour because this podcast used to average like 50 to an hour at each one and during the season it's like over an hour and a half at points so yeah this is definitely a stretch where I have not had a lot of topics or a lot of things to talk about I guess but I guess that's that wraps up at least the traveling section of my life and maybe we'll get into I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get into next week, but stay in tune for next week. It's going to be exciting. Maybe I'll have Titus and Josh come on, but another, not friend of me, fresh episode of another fresh episode, fresh episode is coming soon. Keep a lookout for that because I'm really excited for that. It's going to be Titus and Josh, obviously, and a special guest. Keep in tune for that. That's probably going to be over an hour, which is really good depending on how long they talk, but I think it's going to be over an hour, which is really exciting. So, that's going to be another banger, so keep in tune for that. Um, that's going to be exciting. So yeah, that's kind of my traveling experiences where I've been. 
over my 21 year life, my highlighted experiences. Maybe there are some other highlights, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I guess the one year that we went to Outer Banks, there was horses, wild horses that we saw. And the same year, like, yeah, to drive on the beach and then drive like to our house. Cause like there was no actual road. So yeah, we were literally just on like a public beach where like everyone's just lounging and stuff. We did it in the evening. So there was not that many people there, but you'll just see cars go up and down on the beach, a public beach. Just like imagine just like Wildwood. Maybe not, that's not as crowded, obviously. There's, there's only like, the houses are pretty spread out. So like, there's not a lot of people conjugated in one area. So you don't have, like, you're not going to worry about, like, running over someone. But it, it's pretty wild that, and there was, like, a few wild horses. You couldn't feed them. But, yeah, it was interesting to be at the beach and have horses and cars going by you, you know? Right right by you. But, yeah, that's all the interesting stuff. Travel experiences. Stay in tune for next week. Stay in tune for kids with um, divorced parents and the three videos that I said earlier. That's kind of an update on my channel as well. Um, I'm going to be trying to do live streaming as much. I'm going to hop on maybe an hour or two to live stream. But yeah, thanks for watching.